everyone and welcome back to a new video so we are picking up pretty much straight off from the last video so if you haven't gone and seen that maybe go watch that i literally finished that this morning um i'm sorry i am a little bit of a mess my hair is wet but i'm just letting it air dry because i've been using a lot of heat on it re recently and also my eyelashes are so sparse i've had to put mascara on laurie's gonna kill me but I've had to put mascara on because I've got like four on each eye uh, and it just looks, doesn't look great. So yeah, I'm, I'm a bit of a mess and I apologise for it. I also apologise for like having like things in like, there's a, there's a bar here, but they say cabinets are really good height for me to not have to um, like wobble about because I know I have had a few comments saying that I am really wobbly but it's because I have a camera that doesn't have like image stabilization which a lot of vloggers do because I can't afford it yet so I'm trying to find places that I can just put the camera so you guys don't have to like watch the wobbling <laughs> so that's why this is here you're on a cabinet so anyway yes I thought I would start vlogging now I've been spending the morning editing a video for you guys the the uh that's what that is, it's uploading, it's going. And yeah, that's what I've been doing this morning. I've also showered, obviously. So Jack is working, but he's got a few, like he's got like an hour at the minute to help unpack the kitchen a little bit. So if you haven't watched that video, I feel like you need to go watch that video so you can see kind of where we are. We did the living room a little bit more last night. This is it. It's looking quite cute. Obviously we've still got boxes everywhere and things like that is not set up. We just put it to see how it looks. We've got a rug. That's the cabinet that you were just on. So that's where we are in the living room. But me and Jack are going to sort the kitchen because the kitchen keeps getting like tidy, then messy, then tidy, then messy. Jack is working here, so just ignore him. We tidied it up the other night but then when we went back to the flat yesterday we brought a whole load of new stuff in so the situation at the minute is we've just got little bits of rubbish everywhere and everything that we're going to have on the countertops is on this one so we can tidy all of this off and then decide where everything's going because currently we don't have a clue so we just need to get rid of all this this is kind of rubbish because we don't have a bin yet so this is rubbish this was off the glasses i packed the glasses and socks to protect them they just need put away this is washing and the rest's just stuff to find a place that's another thing that needs to find a place on the cabinet so put that there we also have this massive box of shoes that needs to go somewhere and then we kind of have more rubbish over here. Those are glasses that we don't want anymore, so we kind of just need to put them somewhere. So, and then, again, more rubbish. So this is where we are at the minute. Do you think we're gonna get this finished? Yeah? Cool, right. We have another time lapse coming at you. I am sorry there are so many time lapses, but it's moving. There's a lot of stuff to do. So, coming at you in three, two, one. have one room kind of sorted it's not exactly how we'd want it but how we want it is pretty impossible so the only like sockets that we have in this room are here apart from there is one there but we only have them here so we wanted the microwave there and the toaster kind of here but 
the microwave can't go there because there's no power outage outlets and then we can't have the microwave we tried the microwave there and the toaster there and it just looked stupid so this is what we've come up with we've put some extensions in like um power extensions cord, yeah. extension cords in behind because when like jack's working here today and there's like there's no sockets here either so we've put that in there so jack can reach in there and we can put like phone charges and stuff in there and then we've put one behind here because we've got like alexa and again we can have like a charge phone charger uh we the only thing is is there's like cables trips in but we're gonna try and find some like what are they called those cable things they're not cable ties just the clips clips to kind of clip them down and then we'll try and just get them like tight and because it's white it might not stick out that much it's not the best but it's the best we're gonna get yeah yeah that fits we had black wire and it would tight up to that look yeah uh -huh. yeah so we're nearly done we just need to do some like cleaning and we need some more plants for up there. That corner needs sorted, but I think that'll get sorted once we've got bins and stuff. So, yeah. So, Jack has literally just went back on to a call. So, I'm back in the living room. I'm currently just... Where am I at, actually? I'm uploading a video. Check's taken. Ugh. Um, I'm just uploading the house tour. So... Yeah, I'm probably going to just finish that off and then I'll start in here because the... Is this one of the door? No, I think it was just Jack. The living room's kind of sorted, but then all of in there sorted. And we want to do that before Oakley comes back. I know that's the title of this video, so you're probably waiting on that. We aren't entirely sure what we're doing yet because he... Basically, we don't... I've, I've said it in another video, but we don't want to put him into a situation where he is going to do the wrong thing multiple times so we don't want stuff on the floor so we have to like tell him off a lot if that makes sense so we wanted it to be in an okay place for him to come back we he's at my grandparents at the minute and we told them <laughs> basically it's like kept going and going and going and it was meant to be saturday and then it was Sunday and like now it's literally Tuesday today and we said we'd get him tonight but the only thing about getting him tonight is we have to go back to the flat tomorrow to pick up the final stuff and then drop off the keys and it just means that he's going to be in the car or here by himself and I don't want to leave him here by himself yet so he would have to come in the car it means one of us would have to stay in the car with him the time that we're in the flat so we can't like both go in and just do last minute checks and stuff and then when we go drop off the keys like one of us would have to stay there and I just don't know but it kind of feels like we're taking the mick with my grandparents a little bit for like like extending his stay a little bit and we go we're actually going away um uh, in mid-october so he's going to be there for like four days then because we're going on like a little city break um in a different country so he has to go with them so i don't know i don't know what we're gonna do but anyway i think the plan now is jack has to work so i i'll probably go back to editing and then i'll see what i can do in here without him so i've just gone and got the autumn stuff down because it's so weird because like it's about time now where i would start putting some like autumn stuff out for the hope for the house but like it's gonna go straight out <laughs> and that's a bit weird because i'm trying to figure out where everything should go so like i've got all of the ornaments that were on the cabinets at the flat but i've just realized that autumn stuff's gonna be out so i'm gonna have to figure out where to put it so i've got the big box well not that big i've got a box down which has the majority of the stuff in so i thought we could go through it there we go that'll do not brilliant but it's better than nothing i'm sorry this looks a bit of rubbish hang on i'm still working on this hairstyle i feel like i'm not doing very well right candles I don't feel like you can beat all these smelling candles. Like, they are the best type. I, I think better than Christmas, but... Oh, it's a pumpkin. 
I love this so much. Has it got any batteries in? No, need some batteries for that. Uh, right. Honestly, this is all this is going to be. I mean, just sit and sniff and smell on it. There's not that much, actually. So we've got three little, a nice little three of orange candles. I think they're pumpkin spice. Not entirely sure. Then we've got my beautiful, I love this. Look at that. With the skeleton hand with the potpourri in. I've got a full bag of potpourri to fill stuff up with. Then, I love these. Look at my little girl. How cute is he? It's a little tea light holder. Isn't it so cute? I need to try and get the tea light out of there actually. There's a melted one in there. Then, little pumpkin planter. Isn't that adorable? And then we also have some pumpkin fire lights. I don't feel like they should go up yet. They can stay away. They're not completely autumn, they're more Halloween. Uh, but I'll keep them down here. I will be putting this up and my um little ghost though i think i'm gonna buy some more i need to go home since but it's been a bit mayhemy like that's the thing i feel like this year i was so ready i was like autumn's coming i'm gonna get on the autumn content i'm gonna do it I'm gonna smash it and then we moved at the like perfect time for autumn stuff like so i feel like i've missed out but never mind we'll get stuff out that we have and I'll figure out a time to go at another time. But now I've got to figure out where all this is going to go and put all the summer stuff away. Actually, I'll keep that box. It's stuff like this. What's this called? Fresh herbs and lemon zest. Like, that's a summer candle, right? Like, that, it's not, it's not now. We need it. That's a summer thing. And also this one. What is this meant to be? Wild cassis and cedar. This is really nice. Like, it's a really nice candle. I think it was from Malan. Home. Sainsbury's I think it was from Sainsbury's but again it's a summer one so it's one back in the box right back to sorting now good morning everyone so I know it kind of was a bit of an abrupt end yesterday but me and Jack kind of just like went through a load of stuff and I kind of just forgot to put the camera on and then it was really late like with it getting so dark so early now it's just a bit of like oh but the camera's not going to focus and then um, just really quickly i know the camera has been rubbish on a lot of these moving vlogs and i am really sorry but i just can't afford to buy a new vlogging camera at the minute i've mentioned it i think i mentioned it on my instagram story but i've mentioned it on a on somewhere saying so basically any money because obviously once i've stopped because uh, i've hit a thousand subscribers i can start putting ads on my videos so i am making a little bit of money off youtube but any money that i'm getting from youtube at the minute i am putting straight into a separate pot to save up for a new camera but the, i want to get the best camera that i can and they are like 700 quid <laughs> so it might take a while to save up for it but it's literally like any money i get from youtube is going straight into that pot i'm not even touching it it's going straight towards a new camera i've <laughs> i figured out some numbers yesterday when i was editing because it was making me feel a little bit rubbish about how bad the focusing was and i think it, at the rate that it's going for how much money i make off youtube it's going to take something like 14 months <laughs> to save for this camera uh but hopefully the like Basically, the bigger my channel gets, so like the more views I get, the more money I can make. So hopefully, like as this channel grows, I make some more money and then the quicker I can get a new camera, if that makes sense. So any view that you can give me on any of these videos, I appreciate a whole lot because it means that I can get a better camera and it stops doing the weird focusy thing for you. But anyway, that was a tangent. I just wanted to tell you I am sorry about the weird focus and stuff but anyway yeah that's why i didn't vlog yesterday because i was just like it's just going to be an absolute nightmare to show you so i'll open these blinds and i'll show you an update of what we did the living room's kind of gone back to being a mess because obviously oh hang on we are sorting everything so it's kind of like became like little piles of stuff that i need to sort so this is where we're at at the minute. There are, like I say, little piles of stuff. The stuff that's on the chair is kind of like ornaments that I need to find a place for. Then this is just like 
you can see what it is. It's like screws and stuff that we had out from sorting the dining room. I'm going to call it the dining room, even though we're not using it as a dining room. Uh, yeah, stuff from that, which we still kind of need. I've just unpacked this basket, which is what all this is. I just, I started doing it and then realised I need to vlog. So... Yeah, that's what they are, but all of the autumn decor is up and all of the decor is up. I am, um, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about the bits of orange, but it is autumn, it's not going to be like this forever, so I'll give you a little close-up of the thing. So I've got my little skeleton hand on the top with a pumpkin chai latte, is it pumpkin chai latte? Yeah, pumpkin chai latte, a candle, and then a plant up there. Did you put that plant there, babe? Did you put the plant up there with the uh, nude candle? No, I can't remember putting that there. No, I think you did. You got some plants out, didn't you? No. Oh, all right. Uh, okay. Uh, then we've got the my gorgeous terranium that I well, our gorgeous terranium. Jack picked that as well, but I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. And then got a. Uh, diffuser with a little gold pumpkin on which I love because we do have gold touches like we've got the gold mirror the gold thing ignore that lampshade we still need to go back to Ikea and get like the same lampshade as through there but we've got the gold touches on there I just think it matches really nice with the green so yeah a little gold touch there then we've got my pumpkin with a drinks menu that we got and then little things and then Oakley's toy basket I don't think that's gonna stay there but it's just there for now then on here we have my little pumpkin, I don't even know what to call it, it was in some like flowers at a market store in York, so that's what that is, but I just think it looks really cute there with the, I don't know what that is, I don't think it's pampas, but it's like pampasy kind of thing. Then we've got two little real pumpkins, then on the floor got the lantern which we've always had and then another pumpkin and the cute little like nest and candles there is nothing changed around there so I'll not go through this is kind of oh actually I'll show you actually no because you're gonna be able to see it so I'll show you what we did through here we set the table up so that's the dining table that was in the little um hallway where Jack used to work off so that's going up there with my computer on until I get my new desk which I still need to pick and order and then the bookshelves are up and I absolutely love how it looks like I love it obviously it's not the color that I want but I just love how the like corner bookshelves make this feel because the plan with this space I don't know if I've talked about it yet I think I might have but I'll talk through it again and I'll put you down so you don't have my wobbly filming is to make this like a reading nook so we've got like the bookshelves and then I think I want to put a chair in that alcove and then I'll have my desk here and I'm not entirely sure what to do with like that alcove space yet but that's what this is because Jack's got his office upstairs and there's just some things that I struggle with with going like in a different room and things to work so it'll be just really good for me to be able to like if I'm in the living room to be able to like just walk over a little bit to get to my computer and edit and everything so that's what's happening but I'm so excited about this space I don't know what colour to paint the bookshelves you guys can help me hopefully if you actually comment <laughs> but I think Jack thinks that this space should stay quite light because obviously there is like a separation between this room and that room which is a dark kind of space but I actually think I'd quite like to keep it dark in here as well we are oh, we also put the curtain rail up and put the curtains up I don't know if you're gonna be able to see because of that yeah a little bit um but I actually think I quite like to keep it like the same kind of vibe. We don't have any green walls in here. It's all white. But I would quite like to like maybe paint them black possibly. And then get like a wireframe desk that's similar to like all the little furniture pieces that we've got. But I do understand where Jack's coming from in that like it would be quite cute to have it light. But I'm not entirely sure. But either way... If we keep it quite light, I'd probably paint them white maybe, with a few black touches possibly, but if we go for dark, I don't know whether to paint them black, or whether that's like too much black, because obviously it's not frame, it would be like completely black. So I don't know, you guys need to help me out here and let me know what you think of that, but that's kind of where we are at at the minute, we've still got a load of stuff on here we've got Oakley's crate as you can imagine we didn't get Oakley back last night I kind of just got a little bit overwhelmed that there was still so much on the floor and that 
if he came back there'd just be still so much everywhere and I text my grandparents and they are completely fine with having him so I feel a little bit better because my main worry was just that like we were taking the mick with him <laughs> with them for them having him for so long because it'll literally be a week tomorrow that they've had him but it's not for him because he absolutely loves it there like I think I've mentioned it multiple times but my grandparents have got two cockers and he adores them like he adores them so he loves just playing with them and being there so I'm not worried about him it's just more the fact that my grandparents have to look after my dog for like ages but they're completely fine with it so we didn't pick him up to last night but yeah we've got his crate a few boxes the books for the bookshelves are all in that corner I'm not going to unpack them because like I said I want to paint the bookshelves and it just feels a little bit like I don't want to put all the books on to then have to take them all off to paint them this bookshelf this is a bookshelf so this is another wide one like that one that we had from before we redecorated the living room in the flat we wanted it down here but it's not going to fit because this actually the dimensions of the bookcase fits like perfectly to that wall so you can see it's nearly even plush to the wall like it's literally got what like I'd say that's maybe like a seven centimeter gap so it's not going to fit here and I don't even it wouldn't fit in that alcove either so I can't just like push it back so I think that's going to go upstairs somewhere we need to move it the mirror that's on the floor I am thinking oh, you're going to have to excuse the coats that are on the floor we tried to put a coat rail up there but it just didn't work because that's an exterior wall and what was it babe we needed shorter screws yeah. yeah and we didn't have any so I'm thinking for the mirror I'm going to either put it there if we're not having a coat rack up there or above that uh, radiator I think it's probably going to work better there because it would have to go portrait on this wall but I'm thinking there and again I'm wanting to paint it so it would probably have to be sanded let's have a feel yeah, that's probably going to have to be sanded and then painted because it is a big mirror. It's, a, it's the mirror that was above the mantelpiece before we redecorated in the flat. So it is a big mirror, but again, I want to paint that. Probably, oh, I don't even know. What colour do you think would match in here, babe, for that wall to paint the mirror? Because we've got, like, the brown tiles. Black, maybe. Yeah, or grey, maybe. Yeah. The white and black might be nice. That's quite like white company esque, isn't it? Having little bits of black in it, but it is quite a thick, thick frame. I don't know. Jack's working, so we're leaving him out of the equation at the minute. So we've just got to move all this stuff, and I'm also thinking about maybe um, going and starting upstairs because <laughs> upstairs is an absolute mess. I don't think I've actually shown you upstairs since we got everything in. So, let's go show the mess of up here because it's absolutely ridiculous. Please remember, we have just moved because <laughs> it's ridiculous. So this is the spare room, absolute mess. And we still haven't got any furniture off it. But we did buy the drawers. Jack was using this to kind of like mimic his desk set up for one of the desks he might want to buy. We do have those drawers, so... I'm thinking about maybe trying to set up those drawers today so we can get some of the clothes out of the boxes and maybe move stuff about a bit. Jack wants me to set up the bed, <laughs> but I don't know if I can do that by myself because it's so big. But I'm thinking about maybe trying to do that today while we're up here. I'll just show you everywhere else. This is it, the bed in. Excuse the clothes. Like I said, we haven't got anywhere to put clothes at the minute, so these are just kind of like the clothes we've been wearing the last few days. So this is the bedroom. I absolutely love it in here. Like I absolutely love it. The new carpet, like I can't even tell you. It just makes it everything feel lovely in there. Like I just love the space and I just love being like in a nook for the bed. Like it just makes it feel so lovely. Anyway, yeah. So that's my plans for today. The also the plan is for today today is wednesday so today is the last day of the tenancy for the flat so we also need to sorry i'm paying attention to the stairs because my ankle's still not great we also need to go back and hand the keys in for the flat sorry i don't know why i'm so out of breath it doesn't feel like my breathing's great today uh we also need to go hand the keys in for the flat so we need to go back and 
pick up a few more things and clean some drawers because I'd packed all the cleaning stuff away before I'd realised that we needed to clean the drawers and take a meter reading. So we need to do that but it depends on what Jack's work day is like to go because they close at five but Jack works till five so we're gonna have to figure out like some time that Jack can take to um like come away from work. So we also were thinking about going to Ikea or the range to go pick up some stuff that we need like we need a bin and the Ikea had nothing in when we were there the other day, bin wise. So we need to go pick up a bin from somewhere and I just want to pick up a few little bits from the range and yeah, got all that stuff. So I'm going to start on all this now, moving stuff away and I'll see where I get to. Made a little bit of pro progress with some stuff. So the floor's looking like a lot clearer in here. Like I said, these kind of stuff are going to stay until I've painted the bookshelves. That's to return to Ikea. The bookshelves are still down here because we've decided we're going to put it up like there. And then that'll be more just like a really like cosy nook. Because I can't figure out anywhere that I want to put the bookshelves upstairs. So it's going to go there. But we seem to have lost the uh, screws and stuff for it. So we can't put it up yet. We're waiting to hear back from my grandpa in case that's where they are because we gave him a bunch of screws but we, he might not have them so we, we might have to pop to Ikea and see if we can like buy replacement screws. So I think the plan now is, are you hungry now? Do you want me to go out and find some food now? Yeah, I think we'll start to get hungry. Right, okay. Oh, I forgot to ask Mama if she'll take them up. So I'm going to pop out and get some food and then I am going to see if I can put up these drawers upstairs. Uh, I don't know how that's going to go but I'm going to try and do it myself because Jack still needs to work. So yeah, I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Started trying to build it and I, I absolutely despise Ikea. Like I hate it. Like the boxes were all glued together so I've like bent three of my nails backwards, which was really painful. And then it's like the pictures make no sense. How oh, man, I know what bits you want me to put together. Like, I hate it. I hate them. I hate them. Just put words in and be like, use this bit or mark your pieces of wood. Like Yeah, it's not. I know we've ordered um food in, so I didn't have to go out and. Look at them. It's from Harry's. Yeah, Harry's and Morpeth. It's exciting. It smells different. Yeah, well, it's salmon. <laughs> um, I'm hoping I'm gonna calm down as I eat because I'm fuming. I like, my nails are in agony because they've all been back, so. Right, finished eating. Let's try this again without getting angry. <laughs> forgot that I had therapy today. So made a start on that furniture and then got a phone call and I was like, ah, oh, damn it, I forgot. But I've had my headphones in and I did a little bit. I think I got like, I literally just got the like, the sliding brackets, is that, is that what they're called for the drawers? On the sides and that's it. But I mean, it was therapy. I couldn't have done more. So done that. We are on our way now to the flat to do the little bits and pieces that we need to do and then head to the letting agents to hand our keys back. Are you sad? How do you feel? Yeah, right. This is it now. Yeah. Flat's okay. gone. Not bothered. Yeah. Don't care. Nice. I think that's all I've got to say. After we've been to the letting agents we are going to head to IKEA to drop back off the stuff that we need to exchange so all we're doing is returning the light bulbs because jack convinced me because they are very very dull for light is it in effect of dull yeah you put like, the light on when it's darker that's just silly isn't it it doesn't get darker it just it, it's, it's not just it's not bright enough for a big light so we're taking back those light bulbs we don't need to buy anymore because jack found some that fit and they work better and we are gonna get the correct lamp light shade 
Because maybe save most of things stock. Yeah, I don't think it will be though. It's only been two days. And it's been a Sunday and stuff, so I don't think it will be. And we need to ask if they can give us some replacement screws for the bootcase because we've lost them and we can't find them anywhere. So we're gonna have to see if they'll give us some screws for the Billy bootcase. I don't know if they're gonna. I would just. I would have thought so. Was my like. Yeah, especially when they're going on about being like greener yeah, and like reusing your furniture. That's the one you buy a new bookshelf. Again. That's what I'm meaning though. Like when they're saying they're greener, they can't be like, oh, if you want the screws, you need to buy a bookcase. It's like, what? To just waste the wood? <laughs> no. So we'll just have to see what they do. So yeah, I'll catch up with you in a sec once we get to the flat. Right, this is it. Last footage in the flat. It's all um, empty, all of it. We're literally just leaving. Kitchen, empty, all gone. Right, can't even time to have emotions because we need to go. We're gone, we need to leave. Hello everyone, it is now the next morning. So, I know I did it again where I didn't film anything in the evening, but I had a bit of a shit night last night. We, so once we left the flat, we went to go to Ikea. And Ikea was all right, apart from it's still got this stuff out of stock that we want to buy, like the wardrobes and things. Um, sorry, really quickly, again, I probably knew I've mentioned it. I'm really conscious about my eyelashes, but this keeps, like, glaring. Is that okay? I'll keep it like that. I think I mentioned it before, but when, like, my eyelashes aren't great, I get, like, really self-conscious. <laughs> so that's what these are for. Um, if it gets bad, I'll take them off. The, yeah, we went to Ikea and yeah it all went okay we got spare parts for the bootcase which we realized we didn't really need we actually had like the only thing that we needed was the things to put the shelves in so we did kind of need them but we didn't need them as much as we thought and we got the lampshade switched we haven't put it in yet and what else did we get we returned the light bulbs and Jack ended up actually getting a desk because we've been looking online for the what Jack wanted but then he's came up with his own kind of like DIY thing for the Ikea like you know how Ikea can they can like build their own now so he's got his desk it's still on the car we haven't set that up but then we went right we were gonna go to the range to get like a bin and stuff but we didn't have enough room in the car because we ended up getting a desk. So I was like, right, okay, well, we'll not go to the range. We'll just go to HomeSense. And because my plan was I'll go to the range in HomeSense to do like an autumn come shop with me thing. Because I have, like like I said, I think earlier on in this video, it might have been last video, I feel really conscious about it. It's all like move and vlogs at the minute. So I was like, right, well, I'll film a come to the range in HomeSense with me, do like an autumn thing. But when I got, when we were walking around Ikea, I was feeling really tired anyway. So I was like, right, well, I'll just go to HomeSense and we'll pick up some candles and stuff and I'll just come back and film another video another time. Then, so we didn't get to go to the range. So then we went to HomeSense and it's going to sound really stupid, but all of the autumn stuff was gone. Like, there's nothing there. And when I'm filming, well, when, when I was, like, the date yesterday was the 29th of September and all of it was gone like there was about five candles two cushions and that was it the rest of it is christmas stuff and i've been looking forward to getting some new autumn stuff for ages like when we were there we went to home sense in like the beginning of august and there was loads of autumn and halloween stuff and i got so excited i had some like snow globes that i wanted to get but i knew we were moving so i'm like i will not get them now i'll come back and i even mentioned in the vlog that i love autumn smelling candles so much and then we got there and there was nothing and i was just so disappointed like i was so disappointed it made me feel really really sad to the point that i was like i'm gonna cry because i've just been looking forward to it so much and I've missed it, and it's not even October yet. And I went, I found one candle that I wanted, so we went to the checkout, and I, I asked, I was like, is there gonna be any more autumn stuff coming in? And they were like, no, that's it now. And I was like, it's not even October, and all of the autumn stuff's gone, and it just felt really like, I don't know, like, if, uh, it just felt so stupid that, it wasn't even the month of Halloween and all of it had gone and they're not getting any stuff back. So, and like Home Sense is the place for me. I know there's other places like B&M and Home Bargains and stuff, but like 
Everywhere just seems to have done their Halloween stuff and they're over it now because we popped into Wilco because they I saw they had a little section and it was literally a tiny corner and the rest of it was Christmas and it just felt a little bit like I've missed it because of moving because we couldn't go so I was really really gutted and then we went to Jack was like come on we'll go get a Krispy Kreme to cheer you up uh, on the like when we went out because uh, like next to Metro Centre there's like a drive through Krispy Kreme and a Starbucks and Jack wanted a pumpkin spice latte and we've been waiting to go for ages like when we were there the other day I forgot and we're like right we're, we're, go we're gonna come back we'll come back for Krispy Kreme Krispy Kreme is my thing like I I love Krispy Kreme donuts so much they are my favourite like sweet treat like I think like they top everything and we we got there and we're like come on we'll get you latte first so we went in and at this point it was like 10 to 8 and then we went in ordered jack's latte came out walked up to krispy kreme and then a big sign saying due to unforeseen circumstances we've had to close at 8 p.m and it was two minutes past eight <laughs> so honestly it was just like the final straw i just went into an absolute mood like i was like felt like i was gonna cry because i was just so disappointed about all of it and i was tired and I don't know I think I've just like everything's been overwhelming me ev anyway with the move and things and oh, I just was not in a good mood whatsoever <laughs> so I didn't vlog anything we got back and set up the bouquet so actually I'll wait I'll show you an update of where everything's at in a second but we came back set up the bouquet ordered some food we've had like takeaway every night for like a week now <laughs> but we ordered some food and I felt a bit better after food, but then we were just tired, so we watched TV and then went to bed. So that was that was last night, but I'm just so gutted. Like, I'm so gutted that I've missed all of the autumn home scent stuff. So, yeah, I, w I wasn't in a good mood. So, it is now 20 to 12. And, oh, I'll, with the Oakley thing, he is coming in this vlog. <laughs> This vlog has been stretched out a lot. We're going to pick him up Friday. Today is Thursday. So it is coming in this vlog. I'm just sorry if it's a very long vlog, if that's what you were after. But it's just like, again, like I've said multiple, multiple times throughout this, we just don't want him to come back to an absolute tip of a house and not be able to deal with him properly. It's not fair on him. So, so that's what's happening with Oakley. My grandparents are completely fine with it. And Mama's like sending me update pictures. I'll pop some up round so he is very very happy <laughs> so yeah it's 20 to 12 i've kind of just well jack told me to so i've listened to him just have like a morning of doing what i want so i've literally been watching tiktoks um and um, i am now so doing some online shopping i'm looking so i think i've decided i'll show you the update with the uh, the bouquets being up keep in mind that they are a different color so this is how we are looking at the minute Obviously, they're a different colour because, like I said, this one was from before we de redecorated and these are from the bedroom. Bless you. Uh, so, in there is going to be a chair. Um, or, possibly not, because I was looking at a chair and I am very picky with chairs, especially because that's going to be, like, my chair because it's, like, a reading nook. So, I am very picky with them. And I was looking and the type of chairs that I want... I'm looking at like upwards of like 300 quid and we do not want to spend that type of money on a chair so I've been on on TikTok I've had like five different TikToks come up that involve bean bags and I feel like it's the universe being like Sarah get a bean bag so I'm looking for one but they are also really expensive so let me show you the type of one that I want I'm on Amazon because I've looked on Etsy and there's just none the ones on Etsy are all like this and this isn't the vibe I'm going for that's the vibe I want to go for like I want a massive one so the only one that I found at the minute is this is a cover the cover is itself a hundred quid so I'm going to see if I can find out how to get a uh, it, like an in, inside and all the bean beans the, all the be, beads that's what they're called all the beads for it but I'm just looking at that at the minute and looking at different ones and then I also want to look for a new bed for Oakley because we need a new one for inside of his crate because 
Jack wants to have one upstairs in the office with him and we need one for the living room, which we already have, so I need to find a new bed for him. I also want to look for some autumn decor off Etsy so I don't feel so sad about missing it all. So yeah, that's what's happening at the minute. I think I'm just gonna do this up until lunch and then I'm gonna go back to uh, putting the drawer up and then I might, if I've got time, look at either putting the spare bed up or Jack's desk. But I kind of, <laughs> during therapy, got the gist of the IKEA stuff a little bit more so I'm not as angry with it. So I'm hoping I can do it quite quickly. So that's what's happening. I will catch you up with anything that I've bought a bit later on. And yeah, that's it. Okay, so it's now a bit later. It's five past one. I've been watching um, Ellie Darby's, excuse the mess, um, Ellie Darby's uh, Decorate for Autumn with me. And it seems like she also had the same problem with Home Sense. So it's not just me. And it's not just me who's mad about it either because Anyway, right, so I thought I'd run you through some of the stuff that I found. I've got like windows open for everything. I've got a window open from like two weeks ago for doing like an autumn clothes haul. I've got a window open for desks, a window open for meme bags, a window open for Oakley, and then a window back open for Halloween. And I thought I'd just run you through um, some of the stuff. I'll not go through the desk. Can you hear Jack coming? I don't know what he's doing. I'll not run you through the desk or the beanbag. I thought I'd run through some of the stuff I found for Halloween because to be completely honest, probably not gonna order a lot of it just because we're a bit low on funds. We're spending a lot of money getting stuff for the house. So I thought I'd just show you stuff because some of the stuff is just so, it's so lovely. First off, found, this is all, the majority of this is all Etsy by the way. So first off, look how lovely they are. Aren't they just the cutest colors? They are candles. I would never ever light them. <laughs> like ever. Look how cute they are. Oh, I can't even. And £15 for three. Not even that bad. Right, I have no idea what order I've put these in, by the way, so we're gonna get a shock. What's next? Oh, this wreath. I know it could be a little bit tacky, but how cute is it? Like it's proper Halloween. Ah, oh, it's just so Halloween-y. I like how it's dark. There are some other cute wreaths on here. Next one. Oh my God, look at them. Look at those cats. Aren't they adorable? Like, they've got like individual ones. They've got like a witchy one, a demonic one, and then another demonic one. I love them. They're so cute, but if cats aren't for you, they also have owl versions. That's what Jack would want, but I would want the cats. Uh, anyhow, oh, what? No, come look at how cute these cats are. How cute the are. No, how cute the cats are. Come look how cute the cats are. The the price for these, by the way, are for the full set forty pound. But look at them. Jack doesn't really like cats. Look how cute that is. Cuter with owls. What do owls want to look like? Yeah, they're cute. Get them. No. Get them. Jack is one of those people who used to be like obsessed with owls when he was younger. Used to be. You aren't as obsessed anymore. They're your favourite animal, but... Yeah, I don't like cats. He doesn't like cats and I don't like owls. Like, they really freak me out. Like, I really don't like owls. <laughs> what? Do there aren't any dog ones. Well, yeah, but I think they're adorable. And I think they are probably the... Oh, no, you can only get one, like... The individual ones on the owls, you can get the full set on that one. Uh, right, these, I absolutely adore them. So, Next actually had these in like two year back and then me and Jack hummed and hard about getting one because we just weren't sure whether we would use it, whether we wanted one. And then by the time we decided that we did want one, they were gone and we couldn't find them anywhere. And then the next year, like so last year, I was waiting. Oh, was it last year? It can't have been last year. It must have been three years ago. Um, waited to see if they were coming and then they never came in. And now, now I found them on Etsy and I absolutely love them. Like I just love, I absolutely love them. How much are they? The orange one is 27 pound. And then orange big, so there's a big one. Oh, see, look how nice that is. It's so cute. Right, to next. Right, this. It's not that nice, but how cool does that look? Like, imagine that on your front door on Halloween night when kids are going trick-or-treating. Like, isn't that cool? I love the little black bird on it. I thought that was really cool. The lighting comes, like, extra, so with the red lights, it is nearly 50 quid. 
that's a lot of money but I just thought that looked really cool next up oh my god look at this look how beautiful this wreath is like guys can you even cope like look how stunning that is it is so pretty oh it's so nice it, and it's only 35 pound like that is not bad how big is this that must be tiny for it to be that little amount of money 30 to 40 centimeters that's not that bad unless it means like at the widest points then it is quite small but even then it's absolutely beautiful uh I'll try and I'll 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 try and keep this window open so I can leave all the links for these in the description box in case you guys want them. Right, we're on a decorate we're on um like costumes now. Right, this is ridiculous, but I just wanted to show it how pretty is this. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Do you not think that looks amazing? Like that is so cool. It looks like it should be on Britannia, but it's absolutely incredible. What have we got next? Oh I'm obsessed with this. Look at these. Look at these. Look at these. Look at them. Look at them. I'm obsessed. Like how... Let's get past all this. Look at them. Look at them. I might have to buy one of these because it's absolutely adorable. How much are we? How much are we? Oh my god, there's so many. What colour would I want? Probably the... Oh, well, I've selected one now. Uh, eco sweatshirt. Oh, what does that mean? What does the eco mean? What are we, what are we, what are we talking about? I saw an eco thing. Let's see where I can find it. Let's, can I find it? Can we, can we, can we find it? Eco sweatshirts are crafted from organic cotton and recycled polyester. That's pretty cool. I'll probably go for that one. So what's that? <gasps> 42 pound, that is quite expensive. But can we even though? Look how adorable that is. Oh my god, I might have to get that one. Then we have another sweatshirt. I quite like this. Never better. And in a coffin. I love it. Next. Oh, look at that. It says, let's get spooky. I thought that was adorable. Nice little um, t-shirt. And it's not that expensive either. It's like 11 quid. Then, the right. This next one again. Completely unrealistic. But I just had to show it because it's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that corset. Look at that skirt absolutely incredible i always used to be obsessed with stuff like this like corsets and big skirts i still am low-key but it's just beautiful like i used to this is how i want to dress my sister's the same and i just like that is incredible it's over 200 quid but and on the same vein look at that masquerade mask hang on i can't see look at that masquerade mask is that not just insanely beautiful like look at all of them they are beautiful. You can't tell me otherwise. They are stunning. I need to show you them before you go to the aim. Um, he's going to get us some lunch. Right, I'll show you guys them in a second. He will hate that. It's Halloween costumes for Oakley. Look at this one. He will absolutely hate it. But it would match his fur so well. It would, but he wouldn't wear it. Oh, you would though. I'd you, make him. Nah, I'd wouldn't. make him. He'd Look, it's off. got a, no. It's got a drawstring. Right, he'd still rip it off. It would match him so well. It would. But... So well. Right, hang on, because I've got some more. <laughs> Thank you, boy. Isn't it? it? <laughs> Look at it. How cute is that? Little pumpkin. Because um, pets at home have got one, but it's a bit weird. Like it's got like a massive pumpkin just on his back. Right. Like, how cute is that, man? Yeah. How cute. And then... Ready for this one. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? You'd probably wear the pumpkin one for longer. We've got to keep that one on for longer. This one is this. Look at that little bat. Friggin' bats. <laughs> that was a Viking reference, if anybody didn't know what that was. We've got to get him one. I was saying to Jack, we're gonna get them a costume because we're actually gonna get, probably get Treco treaters in this house. We've never got them before because we lived on the main road before. So we're actually probably gonna get Treco treaters and we've got to take them to the door. Even if we just hold them. I think the only one he, that he would stay on for more than a few seconds is the pumpkin one. But the uh, lion yeah, one would he, match his fur but he would so just, he well. Nah. Just... I'll decide. I'll wait for you to get back. 
There's beds as well, but I can, I'll show you them later. It was just your reaction to the Halloween ones I wanted to show you. Cabinet's up now. Um, what, completely? No, it needs the drawers done. All oh, right, yeah, there. Jack kind of took over my job for me and started putting up the cabinet. Don't say like that. I mean, it's true. No. It is. You were telling us to do it last night anyway. No, I wasn't. You were saying go upstairs and do the... Because you asked. Yeah, you were well, like, I want to go up and put other thing. And then I was like, all right, fine. Don't spend time with me. Go up. Well, I've done it during work instead. I'm going to have a break. When I was going to do it. So, there what we have. I just thought I'd run you through some of those Halloween things because they are absolutely adorable adorable so i'll try like i say i'll try and remember to uh, keep all them open so i can put the links in the description box below so that's where we're at jack's just popping out to get some lunch so there's probably no point in doing anything at the minute so i'll catch up with you after we've had some lunch and i think i'll go and put some of those cabinets up one thing i forgot about though just on the vein of talking about autumn decor is the kitchen because in the flat kitchen there kind of wasn't any surfaces to put decorative stuff whereas this one we have windowsills so i feel like i might have to buy some of the autumn stuff for the kitchen ah i'll figure it out i'll figure it out okay so it's now a little bit later uh we had some lunch and did some ordering whilst we were eating so we ordered what did we order we ordered my desk and sorry i'm trying to figure out where i'm gonna go where am i I think this is next oh, I don't know there's too many Ikea boxes we ordered my desk we ordered Oakley's new ooh, Oakley's bed for his crate sorry and what else did we order might have been it for now I'm waiting for some measurements <laughs> for his uh, Halloween costume because like I have to ask mama to do them so I think that's it we are gonna I'm gonna Get back to setting up the drawers now. Jack's got the frame up. We've got one box in here and one box in here. Yeah, that's number three. So this is the one that we're on to. So let's hope I can get through this one without having um, a little angry episode, shall we? room of chaos <laughs> uh we have a draw we are done it um took me a while i thought i got it wrong at one point didn't took it all apart and then realized that i hadn't got it wrong and then had to put it all back together then came to put the drawers in and jack had put it up wrong <laughs> so jack had to come fix these bits that he got wrong but it's done yeah. yay like it yeah, I do actually. I'm still not a fan of the handles, but never mind. They're not the worst thing in the world. No. <laughs> I want to figure out how we're doing stuff first. Great, thanks. Yay. What is the plan now? Have you finished work? Yes. Are we going to go do shop shop shopping? Well, the shops close, so I think we should prioritize the shops because I think we should go to Dunelm and TK Maxx to see if they have more Halloween things in the Cramlington one. It's Home Sense of Stairs. I know, but I'm trying, Jack. Shut up. Um, and Dunelm for. Bin. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to go do food shop mm -hmm. and actually have food in the house right. and not have takeaway for like the first time in a week. Yeah. Right. I need to get changed because I'm in a very odd outfit. But yeah, let's go. We are, we've been to the shopping. We've, we went to TK Maxx. Oh no, I'm so myself. <laughs> we went to TK Maxx. I didn't bring you in because I'm very worried about how long this video is. But. We went to TK Maxx and they had a little bit of Halloween stuff. They had way more candles than the Metro Centre one did. We so bought all of them. I spent £50 on candles. <laughs> I'll show you which ones I got when we get back home. Oh, sorry, it's so red. There's an ambulance in front. So the brakes are like really bright because <laughs> there's so many of them. We are on our way back now. 
We weren't successful in Dunelm. We didn't get a bin. We got a doormat. We should. Oh, we didn't. We only got one. We've got two doors. We do. We've got, We've three, got three doors. doors. <sighs> we got a doormat and some pegs. Some pegs. <laughs> pegs. <laughs> some pegs for the washing line. So we are on our way back, and we are going to do our food shop now because like i said we have no food so yeah when we get back i will show you the candles we got right we are gonna have to go with the orange because the lighting is just not all there it's not all that it's not good and i don't even know how to fix it either like i have no idea why it's so orange <laughs> uh, i thought i'd run through a little bit of the candles that i got is further back better oh my god God, I can't do this, can I like this? It's gonna have to do, I apologize. So, there weren't a lot, and like I say, I only bought candles, but I got quite a big one. So this one's for Jack, this one's Jack's um, office. Oh God, that is so sweet, it's insane. So it's cold brew and rich caramel. I knew I could smell coffee. I knew I could smell coffee in there. He wanted that one for his office, so he picked that one. He also picked this one, which is caramel, pumpkin, and honey, and it's a DW home one. But look at the top. It's got a cute little, like, um, hang on. We've got to have it off for the thing to work. Like, it's got a cute little... There we go. Like, Wheel of Fortune thing. So it's got, like, have some chocolate, choose a treat, bob for apples, handful of candy corn, boo, spin again. Um, yeah, I think it's quite cute. But yeah, he was more that was more of one that Jack picked again. You can really smell the caramel in that. Then I picked up some of the trio ones. I'm so glad that they had some of these because I've got some down there, you can see, but they are hundred percent gonna be gone this year, like hundred percent. I need to put that down actually. Hey, handy. I need to put that down because the wax will drip everywhere. Then how did I spend 50 quid on candles? I got this one for the bathroom. It's a white pumpkin one, so it's the same as the one that we got last night at the Metro Center. Ugh, I just love the white pumpkin smell so much. I, I don't know if they have different white pumpkin for different things though. So we kind of found like a a, a non-autumny white pumpkin one from Sand and Fog, and it smelled completely different to kind of like the autumn branded ones. So I don't know if there's like different smells, but I got this for the bathroom because when I've ran out of candles for there. And then I got this cute little like, it's like an apple carton um, thing with them in and they are all pumpkin spice. I'm gonna get them out because this was the first one that I saw that was pumpkin spice. And like I said, I couldn't really get any yesterday. So, ugh, they're not coming out. You know what? I'm just gonna leave them in there for now because it is quite cute. So there was, there is six, yeah, six little mini candles in there and I quite like the packaging thing that it came in. So got that. Also got some, like I said, some pegs and we got a salt shaker grinder because Jack apparently just accidentally threw ours out even though it was a proper paid for one, but never mind. So they are the candles that we got. I don't know what the plan is now. Um, Jack is upstairs. He's got a bit of a pain in his tummy, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do because like my mama, my mama said to, for us to keep Oakley with her so we could go to this rest, the Greek restaurant that I've been trying to go to for like since we moved here, but every night they've been like, no, you can't have takeout. So she was like, Go actually in tomorrow night and pick him up on Friday. But if Jack's not feeling great, I don't think we're gonna go. So we'll have to see what he wants to do when he gets down. We finished, like you saw the drawers. So I might just like clean up a little bit in here, ready for Oakley coming back tomorrow. And yeah, so I'll catch up with you once I know what we're doing. <laughs> 